So we're here to show Richie how to get the uh, the Gizmo Guy gadget basic. We'll try that on his Mercedes E Class W210. So first, plug that thing in for power. Yeah, well, let's clear out the, the high quality guy. All right, I'll set him aside. Okay. Getting some bleed over from uh, I think I'm gonna go back to your suggestion. Uh, 89 point. Well this one will do that, okay? We'll we'll do that. So you plug it in and see what the number says, what it says right there. It says eighty seven point nine. Okay, so like so we would either yeah, do a eighty seven point one. Can you do that over here? Yeah, let's see now. Seven. There we have it. Oh, 87.9? Yeah. Oh, we got Okay. So now just go to your phone. Go yeah. to the Bluetooth. Uh-huh. It's... Oh, I see. Go to Bluetooth. Got and it. you got to pair it to this gadget. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. So here we are. And then uh, Bluetooth. Yeah. Bluetooth. And then search for a new device. Oh, it's at the bottom, I think. It just go... S23 or just one? Oh, there you go. Okay. We got it. So it's already working. So now just. S23, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So you pair, you just pair automatically. And now just play some music. Sure. There you go. That's all. That's all you got to do to get your music to play on your radio. We can't have the music because the music would, uh, the YouTube will flag it. So that's how easy it is to have Bluetooth to your old stock factory radio. These are fiber optic, so regular transmitter like these will not work. You need a special transmitter for the fiber optic system. And this little guy will work on this fiber optic system for Mercedes Benz. It sounds pretty, pretty balanced octave to octave, you know. Uh, it really does. I mean, I could use a little bit more bass. I'm kind of a big uh, fan of musical profundity. Well, you know? the bass you can actually adjust through the stock radio. So you may use that oh, to add more yes. bass. Yes, yes, okay. So you can use the equalizer on the stock radio to increase the bass. And you can see that this one's basic for a reason compared to the VIP. You know, visibly they're different. I mean, yeah, that one has more metal. I mean, it looks naturally more, look more, more expensive. But this one does the job. It does it very well. Mm -hmm. well I've been around, around the world. Well, you were dissecting each, you were dissecting the music and the, 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 how the bass and the trebles and everything. So I want to hear what you said. Oh, well, this, yeah, this bass is a little, it's, it sounds like, it sounds really darn good. It's a little bit, I think it's the equalizer here. There's a little bit of boost, like in the low, low, mid, mid range. Um, still, it doesn't really have it like the, you know, the bass you feel, yeah, you feel in your, in your belly, you know, so, but it's, it sounds great, I mean, for a car radio, it's fantastic, I think. See, the pitch is really clear, I mean, it's, the pitch sound is, it's not muddy. It's actually pretty darn good. I used to be an audio but that was a long time. 
It used to be a what? Audio file, but that was a long time. That's why I appreciate your opinion. Uh, you, you know, you can you can word it where you can verbally express what you hear. I mean, I I hear it, but I cannot express it verbally about what you know. Yeah, audio file has a different wording well, for different. I'm listening to the attacks. You know, the the musical attacks and. Um, the space between the notes as well, you know. So a lot of like the space has a little bit of sustain to it, you know. But um, it's it's pretty darn clear. I like it. And off the top of your head, can you compare it to the VIP, the basic versus the VIP? Is there any difference in sound quality that you can tell? I think a little bit, but this one is just totally adequate. Totally great. I mean, this is this would make me happy all day long. I like the I like the VIP VIP is a little sharper sounding, but it may be because we changed over here to 87.9 rather than. No, I don't Nine think that the, the station makes any difference. The difference that we did is we mess with equalizers yeah. on the stock radio, where when you were used to before when you're using the VIP. It was a default setting, whatever the basic setting was. So now we boost the, 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 the bass, and you can hear, I mean, the thumping is actually deeper, more solid. Yeah, it certainly is. You, you know, really, to compare, I might have to AB it, in other words. <clears throat> you had to listen to it immediately yeah, from one to the other. Yeah, we switch one to yeah. the other, AB, AB, you know. It's, it's not really fair to, uh, to compare it like this. Cause this sounded great. Wow. Now we're trying the uh, the FM transmitter or the Bluetooth FM transmitter from uh, from Amazon, and they all pretty much look like this. Um, different design, but they're all pretty similar. So now you can hear it just by plugging it. We're hearing static and hissing noise already. What a static. Is the music crank up? Is it all the way? Yeah, it's pretty darn high. Oh, there we are. Yeah. I can hear noise, can you? Yep. Lower, just lower the music. Lower, lower the volume. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can hear the hissing. Yeah. Really loud. Yeah. So a lot of people do is what they just they just turn up the volume to mask the hissing and, and all that stuff. Uh the hissing, buzzing and static. It's it's worse if you have the car cranked up. Yeah. Turn the car on please. I mean you see. No, turn up the volume a little bit. My God, you hear the static? Oh my God, yeah. You can also hear the um, primary ignition coils. You know, the spark coils. This sounds horrible. <laughs> it does. Well, it doesn't help that we've got uh, 12 uh, spark plugs in this car, you know what I mean? There's there are twelve spark. Yeah, twelve spark plugs, twelve coils. This is a six cylinder. Why yeah. would it be? There's there's two coils, two plugs. Per oh really? I yeah. didn't know anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, now now let's let's mess with my old one. Let's yeah. do this one. So, so now we'll we'll plug this back in and. So anyway, that's why. It see, this terrible. is it sounds horrible. Oh my god. Yeah. No, no. Let's plug plug in mine. Yeah, be glad to. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know the difference, and this is why you want to use a Gizmo Guy gadget instead of. Power on. Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth connected. Yeah, that little guy really connects quickly. I must say, that's pretty darn good. All right. 
<laughs> I got my Wheezy, uh, Wheezy air conditioning system. Oh, that's the AC? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought, I'm, what the hell? What no, was that sound? No, okay, no. so it's the AC. Okay. It's, uh, it's kind of endearing. Okay. I like it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We'll throw, uh, throw something on here. Well, that's gonna sound horrible. Boy, the channel is not right. Did you pair 87.9? And what's this? This is 87.5 bit. Oh. Right? No wonder. No 